Hey everybody, it's Dilvzy, and I'm here with another Living Dead Doll show and tell vlog. Because Christmas has come and gone, and I got a special doll from my man for Christmas, and I was super stoked. I actually got two Living Dead dolls, but one thing that I'd wanted was actually not a Living Dead doll, and it was false advertising, and uh, I don't have that doll with me yet. But if he can't return it, I will keep it, even though it wasn't my favorite doll. But who cares about that one? And he understands, so don't worry. I don't want you guys bashing me like I got bashed when I decided to post about it in a community I belong to. Uh, because he felt really bad, and he knew that I didn't really want the doll that did arrive. But it was listed as an entirely different one. But anyway, enough about that. Blah, blah, blah. I need to also vent, not vent, but uh, blab and blab because I've been a mess all week because we had a really bad ice storm here in, in Toronto and well, Ontario and a lot of people were without power. Some still are seven days later. Mine was gone for like two days so I had to go to Oshawa to stay with, with James and his family which was really nice of them. But then yeah, so I, I can't even really enjoy my gifts that I got and stuff and having power knowing that other people don't have power as I'm an empath and people know that well maybe you guys don't but some of you do that's why I get all emotional and stuff see that's one thing about me I do my vlogs and I do my show and tells but I also ramble so some of you appreciate that some of you probably just ignore me that's fine but for those fans of me or followers of my page thank you so much for sticking with me and now on to the doll, okay? This is going to be all happy fun time now because I'm super stoked about who I got. Without further ado, let me tell you, it's Camilla. Yes. So, that's who I got. I was very excited to open this. And let me read you the chipboard while I take the lid off. But first of all, check out the lid. Do you see how it's got decoration of sugar skulls all around it? This was an amazing series and... I really wanted Camilla, but I've never been able to find her, and we found her when we went to a comic shop, and he went in first, and he bought me this for Christmas. So, it says, she loves all things morbid, it was often said, in regards to the outcast with a flower on her head. But every single day is a date with death when you walk the streets in the land of the dead. And here is beautiful Camilla. This doll is freaking awesome, okay? Like, look at this. I love her outfit. I'm going to go back up to her face because that's going to be the piece de resistance. But look at this. She's wearing like a red, a red, uh, what do you call those? Oh, my Lord. I have so many of them. Cardigan, I guess? Would you call it? Yes. Red cardigan and a black dress with flowers on it. Really beautiful. And she's got black tights. And Mary Janes, that's always my favorite on my dolls, is when they have the Mary Janes. And long black hair, as you can see. Very shiny. And now, let's get to her face. That is an awesome face. Now, I also have a story. For Halloween, James painted a mask for his daughter, Kira, and he used this design of this sugar skull and he said that he, he was expecting that I would have clued into that but I totally did not at all clue into the fact that it was the same painted face because you know I haven't really obsessed over these dolls much like I, I see the dolls I want but then that's about it you know I don't like look at them daily but yeah let's look at she's got the flower in her hair which is really cute I don't think it comes out. Oh yeah, it does. It's got Velcro, but I'm leaving that on. I don't want to. I don't want to screw with that. Let me zoom in on her face so we can take a better look at the details. Okay. What I love about Camilla is her expression. She's like got this look on her face, like oh yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna screw with you. You know what I mean? Like she's off to the side. She looks like she's up to something anyway. I'm going to read the death certificate that goes with her. I don't know why this one is so rushed, but probably because I'm still all screwed up because of this ice storm, so 
I'm trying not to think about things. And what else can I possibly say about her anyway? She's got white skin, the same articulation as all the other dolls. There's like lots of awesome dolls in the series. The only one I don't like is El Luchador. That one reminds me of the Kudo guy, and I never want him. He's useless. So I will never get him, even though I like male dolls. But enough about him. Let's scroll down on her again while I read this, okay? So there's her death certificate. Yep, so. Oh, what day? Oh, yeah, the first day of November 1939 is when she died. Makes sense, because that's when the Day of the Dead. Uh, stoned to death because she didn't quite fit into her, their games, into their cliques. She tried to run, but had a trip. Poor fallen Camilla didn't die quick. That's sad. But yeah, so there you go. That's Camilla. And I highly recommend this one if you can find it. Like, he told me the price he got it for, and that's amazing, because I saw it online for like $100, and I got this. Well, he got this at an amazing deal. So good luck with that. There's lots more dolls I want. I'm starting to get like, I should really stop collecting dolls, because I really am running out of room. But you know what? They make me happy. And if I'm so stressed out, I need something to make me happy. So there you go. That's why I love my living dead dolls. And one thing, I get a, I'm going to give a shout out to the, the group I belong to on Facebook because I got to say, it is so nice to know that there are other people that think the same way and are as obsessed with their dolls, even more so than me, some people. And it's just, you can't help it. When you become a collector of these dolls, you understand. So to all my fellow collectors of Living Dead dolls, we all understand the love of these dolls and it makes me happy. And some of you who do your vlogs have been ones to lead me to want certain dolls. And I'm hoping that I do the same for you. So yeah. And I tend to ramble, but that's my charm, isn't it? Or my annoyance, I don't know. But those of you that subscribe to me, you obviously like me for a reason. So I like you too. So I'm hoping you guys all had a good Christmas. Um, maybe I'll talk again when I do a regular vlog without the dolls. And I'll go into more details about the other doll that I received and um, if I do keep it, which I probably will, unless he can return it, I will do a vlog on that one, okay? So I hope you're all well and I hope most of you that are in Ontario have power now and try not to listen to the news because it stresses people out, me especially, so I'm gonna try not to anymore. And if the power goes out, oh well, I guess I'll have to deal with it, okay? Bye everyone. Say bye Camilla. I know you're up to something, but you better stop.